can 14 to the power of n plus 11 ever be prime? Uh, I'm going to be answering this in today's video, and the answer is no, it can't be. And that's probably going to be the answer. In fact, if you gave this question to a mathematician um, and said that there's a maths video out there with the solution, they'd probably almost certainly respond that it's probably not going to ever be prime. Or maybe if it is prime, maybe for small values of n, for certain small values of n, but for large values of n, it won't be. And the reason I say that is because, well, if there's a maths video about it, it means that the problem is solvable. And in general, it's difficult to tell if a large number is prime. If you gave me a large number and said, hey, is this prime? It's kind of difficult to check. It's much easier to show that it's not prime. So it's much easier to show a number is not prime than to instead prove that a number is prime. Anyway, let's dive in here. You can do everything I'm about to say using modular arithmetic, but you don't actually need to. Uh, we're going to split this into two cases, one where n is even and one where n is odd. Uh, if n is even, we'll deal with that case first. n can be written as 2 times m, where m is some integer. And then this expression, 14 to the n plus 11, will just be 14 to the 2m plus 11. Um, OK, what are we going to do? Well, I'm going to show that this expression here is guaranteed to be a multiple of 3. Now, you could do this using modular arithmetic, as I say, um, but we're not going to do that. But we're essentially going to be doing that behind the scenes. I'm going to write this as 15 minus 1 to the 2m plus 11. And now 15 minus 1 to the 2m, if I think about using a binomial expansion uh, to expand that, it will be 15 to the 2m plus 2m choose 1 times 15 to the 2m minus 1 uh, or times minus 1 and so on, plus a bunch of other terms. And then the penultimate term would be um, 2m choose 2m minus 1 times 15 times minus 1 to the 2m minus 1. And then the last term would be plus minus 1 to the 2m. And then, of course, we've got this plus 11 here, like so. Now, minus 1 to the 2m, because 2m is clearly even, minus 1 to the 2m will be 1. So 1 plus 11 here, that's going to give us 12. And now all of these terms here, I don't know what they are, but they've all got a 15 in them. And since they've all got a 15 in them, they're all going to be multiples of 3. 12 is also a multiple of 3. And so this guy here is guaranteed to be a multiple of 3. Cool. This is very, very nice. And this is how we can prove that when n is even, um, this thing here will be multiple of 3. And so 14 to the n plus 11 can't be prime. For n odd, we're actually going to do something very similar. So if n is odd, we're going to do essentially the exact same thing. We can say n is 2m plus 1. And so 14 to the n plus 11, if we just kind of skip a few steps, it's going to be 15 to the 2m plus 1 plus 2m plus 1 choose 1 times 15 to the 2m times minus 1 plus blah, 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 all the way up to uh, 2m plus 1 choose 2m times 15 times minus 1 to the 2m uh, plus minus 1. So the 2m plus 1 plus 11. Again, 2m plus 1 is odd, so minus 1 to an odd number is minus 1 plus 11. That thing there is now 10. And now all of these terms here have still have the 15 in. And so that's going to be a multiple of 5. If you add 10 to a multiple of 5, still going to be a multiple of 5. So this thing here will be a multiple of 5. So in the case n is even, we know the number's a multiple of 3. In the case n is odd, it's going to be multiple of five, so it can never be prime. And that's our proof.